Hi everyone. Um, first of all, apologies for the slightly strange angle in this video. I'm trying to make this video really quickly because I'm going away first thing in the morning and it's already quite late and I still need to pack and get sorted and things. So I'm just trying to do this uh, pretty quickly. But in this video, I just wanted to talk about a new travel camera backpack I've recently bought. Um, if you're into photography um, you've got a lot of camera equipment and you make videos like me as well so you've got lots of different camera equipment and laptop and if you're then going away on a break for a few days to then find a backpack that allows you to put in all of that camera equipment and have space for change of clothes for a few days and other th bits and pieces as well really really difficult to find now I've spent a long time researching different bags and looking around and I wouldn't say I found the perfect one because the perfect one doesn't exist but certainly came as close as I can to it I think. Um, you know what? I don't even know what it's called. So this is the backpack here. This is the low pro, to be honest with you, I've sat down and made this video and as I've started recording, I've just realized I can't actually remember the name of the bag. So what I'll do is it'll be in the, it'll be in the title and the description anyway, but it's a low pro something or other. It's a great backpack. It's not the flip side. What is it there? Ah, it's on the back. This is the, this is the Low Pro Fast Pack BP 250 AW Mark II. Low Pro Fast Pack, essentially. Um, so it's basically split 50 50. So the bottom half is for your camera equipment, and the top half is just for your other bits and pieces, change of clothes, and that sort of thing. So let's start off just at the side here because you can probably see I've already got my tripod in it. So that, that stretches out, there's a, a clip strap there, so you can use that for your tripod. If you've got a travel tripod like me, you can fit like a two litre bottle of water in there. Um, so obviously that's where I keep my tripod. Uh, the top section is a decent size. It's not ginormous, but when you consider the main purpose is to hold your camera equipment as well. Um, it is a pretty good size. If you can see that. So it's a decent size. What you've also got as well, there's a little clip there you can attach your keys to so you don't lose your keys, that's quite handy. And then there's a pocket there you can put things in and then you've got little pouches as well that you can put in pens and you can put in batteries or whatever else. There's also a zipped compartment there which is a good size. You can fit reasonable, you could fit filters in there, you can fit more batteries I suppose. You can fit, it's a pretty good, so let me try and give you a closer look at that. So that's the zip compartment. Uh, I don't know how clear it is, but it is a pretty reasonable size. So all in all, for a camera backpack, that amount of space is actually, it it's larger than, I've looked at a lot of backpacks and that's larger than I've found with any other backpacks. So on the side here as well, You've got a compartment for your laptop. That is a really good size. You could fit a 15 inch laptop in there. There's also a pocket for a separate tablet as well. So you can pack both a laptop and a tablet. So that's really good size. And then you access the camera compartment. It has side access, which I personally am a really big fan of. Um, of actually move the sips out of the way so let's move them back to the side 
So I'm a really big fan of side access. I like that quick access. So just being able to take off one strap, swing the bag round and have access to your camera. If I'm walking around anywhere and I quickly see something I want to photograph, I don't want to have to take my bag completely off put it on the, gr on the ground, completely open it up, and then get my camera. I like to have really quick access to it. So I really like the side access. So, so that's the side access there. Then you've got a couple of little pockets for SD cards up there as well. Um, this part unclips. And then that whole side compartment, if you sip that further along, that gives you full access to the full compartment. So, all of these parts, like all camera bags, this is all Velcro, so you can move all of this around to suit your needs. And it's, Again, that's a pretty good size as well. Uh, now, obviously, it's going to depend how much equipment you do have, but it will fit a, a DSLR, easily fit um, mirrorless cameras, a couple of lenses, chargers, filters. I'll show you what I'm going to put in it in a minute um, for my for my upcoming trip, but just few other pockets and things first on the front of on the front of this flap you have another zip compartment here which which gives you enough space for batteries chargers cables that sort of thing and when you've got that clip down as well that gives it a bit more security as well so that's handy at the bottom i'm not going to get it out but at the bottom there is a rain cover so there's a rain cover that goes uh, over the bag and zip compartment at the top there i can't even remember if i mentioned that or not no i didn't um so there's another pretty deep pocket at the front there again you could put in Cables, chargers, sunglasses, snacks, that sort of thing. And I've used this bag, I've had it a few weeks now, so I have used it for a few city breaks and things. And I am a really, really big fan of it. It's worked really well for me. Um, I've not been able to find a camera bag that allows me to hold not just so much equipment but so uh, so much personal gear and clothes and things as well so it has worked really really well for me and i tried when i was looking for a bag i tried various different bags and not only did this allow me to hold the most equipment but i also found it to be the most comfortable as well um, the padding on the on the back is some of the best padding I found in a bag it's really soft you've got that groove there which helps the airflow so you're not you don't sweat quite so much um, and it is really good thick padding really soft really really comfortable on your on your back um, and it's got the chest straps I forget what they're called chest straps I guess it's got the chest straps at the top and it's also got these wrist straps as well so it supports your weight uh, really really well and um, what's also really cool is that these wrist straps can actually be removed so if you're just going for a walk into town and you don't need these and you don't want them flapping around that's just velcroed in so you can velcro that out just take it completely out and then just you know use it as and when you need it really it's also got clips either side so you can clip it if you've got a, a, a case like a suitcase you can strap it to the to the what 
what they call it. You can strap it to your case anyway. So probably not something I personally will use, but I know a lot of people do like being able to do that. And I think that is that. Um, like I say, I have used this on a couple of city breaks and things that I've been on recently, and I have been very, very pleased with it. Now, I will be putting it to the ultimate test over the next couple of weeks because, as I say, I'm going away in the morning. I'm going to Orkney, where I'm hiking around Orkney for a week, and then I'm flying from... Scotland then to Germany and I'm going to be in Germany for a week so this is where this search for this bag started really because I'm hiking around Orkney for a week and then flying straight to Germany so I needed a bag that I could take onto a flight without needing to check it in um, so a bag that I could just carry on but that would allow me to take all my equipment for that long break as well. Obviously I didn't want to check in a bag because that would because I've got a hike around Orkney with it first. So it needed to be comfortable enough for a week long hike and compact enough to be able to carry on a flight but still give me as much space as possible to be able to carry all of my camera equipment and video equipment and hopefully a bit of clothes and stuff as well so i'll give you an idea of the things i'm going to pack obviously i've got my fujifilm xt2 which i'm currently filming with at the moment um i've got the 18 to 135 now i did i used to just have the 18 to 55 kit lens i've now upgraded to the 18 to 135 because um, i wanted that longer zoom i wanted a bit more zoom and i wanted uh weather sealing as well um and I've just recently bought a new lens as well. This is a Samyang 12mm f2.0, um, f f2. And this is, I predominantly bought this for astrophotography, for night sky photography. So that will be going in my bag along with my, along with my camera. And... Uh, I've got a DJI Osmo Mobile 2, so that is a gimbal for my mobile phone. I'm going to be doing more and more videoing on my mobile phone. I've just recently bought the Samsung S8. The camera on that is great. And alongside the gimbal, you can get some really good looking footage. So I'm going to be using that more and more for footage. So that'll be going in my bag. I'll be taking my little action camera, my Sony action camera, so that doesn't take up too much space. So that's not so bad. Um, filters. My filters are keeping this pouch, which obviously is pretty bulky and takes up a lot of space. So I have thought about just taking out and just taking a couple of my filters to save space. But which filters do I leave behind? And then I know if I leave behind certain filters, um, I'll end up probably wishing I'd took, t taken them. So I plan to take that if I can get all that in my bag along with everything else. Um, otherwise I might have to just cut them down a bit and only take a couple of individual filters. But hopefully that'll go in. Um, and then in terms of equipment, I was going to take my drone. I'm still undecided about that. I'm gonna have one last look at the weather now. When I last checked the weather, it's due to rain every day, pretty much all the time where we'll be out walking. So if that's the case, I'd not be able to fly my drone anyway. So it's probably not worth taking my drone. I know it can certainly fit in my bag with that equipment. Uh, it's just whether or not it's worth taking uh, due to the weather. Other than that, um, I've got clothes, I've got like these lightweight like nylon tops, um, much better for hiking and uh, don't take up as much space in my bag, lightweight, better for helping moisture escape and all of that, 
towel i'm staying in hostel so i'll need a towel but i've got a travel towel so again that doesn't take up too much space and then just socks underwear and yeah just all change of clothes my char just needs to go in my bag as well i've got a power bank which is charging as we speak so that will be going in my bag as well i am taking my laptop so i can work during the two weeks as well so because it's a two week trip this is going to be the ultimate test for my for my bag um so keep watching my following videos and we'll see how we get on with that but if you're looking for a travel backpack um, that's suitable for going on city breaks or any kind of break where you're away for a few days and you need change of clothes you need to be able to pack all your chargers all your equipment and other bits and pieces as well then I've looked into a lot of bags and this has been the best one I've been able to find this is the one I would certainly recommend so I hope this video has been helpful and I'm going to be away in Orkney for the next week and then after that week I'm going to be in Germany where I'm going to be at Fotokina and then I'm going to be in Dusseldorf for a few days as well. So lots to see in my upcoming videos and you'll be able to see how I do get along with this bag as well. So please do keep watching. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Don't know whether or not we're going to make the ferry. I was hoping to show you a bit of Aberdeen because it looks like a nice city, but we've really got to run and, and get this ferry.